Jesus' mighty name. Happy to see you. you welcome to the morning church with the Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional. God bless you as we join today, being the 29th of July, 2023. You are welcome. I'm sure God is going to bless you richly today. And as we go along, I pray the blessing shall continue to increase. It is well with you. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for the entrance of your word in our lives. This morning, open our understanding. Continue to be a blessing unto us. At the end, let your name be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen, and amen. Our topic today is do away with toxic relationship. Do away with toxic relationship. Toxic relationship. Our memory verse is found in the book of Proverbs 22 from verse 24. Proverbs 22 from verse 24. It says, make no friendship with an angry man and with a furious man thou shalt not go make no friendship with an angry man and with a furious man thou shalt not go don't find yourself fighting somebody who is angry so that because if the two of you are fighting they will just look at you being the fool between the two of them. That is why you make no friendship with an angry man and with a furious man thou shalt not go. The motivational quote says, never make somebody a priority in your life when you are just an option to them. Don't make somebody a priority in your life because to the person you are just an option. Don't price yourself too, too high before somebody who is not ready to accept you for any reason. That's what we are trying to say here. The prophetic word, which is the prayer for you today, is that today you receive the grace to choose the right relationship in the name of Jesus. Let somebody say loud amen to that. Receive the grace to choose the grace to choose the right relationship in the name of Jesus. We go to our fire scripture today and it's found in 1 Samuel chapter 17. We read from verse 28 to verse 30. 1 Samuel chapter 17. We read from verse 28 to verse 30. And Eliab, his eldest brother, his eldest brother had, when he speak unto the men and Eliab anger was kindled against David and he said why comest thou down hither and with whom hast thou left those few sheep was angry because he left those few sheep in the wilderness I know thy pride and the naughtiness of thy heart for thou art come down that thou mightest see the battle verse 29 says and David said, What have I done? What have I now done? Is there not a curse? And verse 30. And he turned from him towards another and spake after the same manner. And the people answered him again after the former manner. The people answered him again after relationship we are looking at relationship here beloved we have different kinds of relationship many that you can think of that you can come across you can have a healthy relationship you can also have unhealthy relationship you can have a good relationship you can also have a bad relationship we have work relationship people you relate with at work you can have family relationship. People you relate with in the family. People you come across. Family members. You can also have demonic relationship. People who are demons. They are like demons. Wicked people that will relate together with you. 
There are many human beings who are not really human beings. They are very terrible. They are like demons. We have that kind of relationship too. We have demonic relationship. We have worldly relationship. When you want to be like the world, you are relating with them so that you can be like them. Worldly relationship. Whatever they are doing is what you two want to do. I want to be like them. I want to talk like them. I want to dress like them. I want to say everything I want to say like them. Many of our languages has now been changed to the languages of the world. And many people are speaking guy, speaking this kind of languages, not minding the repercussion. You are dressing like them, you are looking like them. The way you look, the way you do things is like the world. Worldly relationship. You can have casual relationship. You can also have mutual relationship. A very cordial relationship. Very wonderful relationship. You can also have a holy relationship. When you have a holy relationship with somebody, holy relationship, you can also have unholy relationship. Unholy relationship. The Bible says when you are relating with idol worshipping, it's an unholy relationship. Because that will not benefit you at all. We have uh, intimacy with the Holy Spirit. Coming closer to God, working with God, doing things together with God. We can also have a loving relationship, which is common. You love this, you love that. This one loves you, I love this, I love that. Like what we have in marriages, loving relationships. You can also have codependent relationship. When one person is depending on the other, what you are doing, or whatever you, what you are and what you need will depend on the other person that you are relating with. And if the two of you are beneficial to yourselves, one way or the other, and at the same time, you can have what we call the toxic relationship. And that is where we are looking at today. A toxic relationship is one that makes you feel unsupported. The kind of relationship that will make you feel as if you are not supported. The kind of relationship that is uh, uh, when your, your physical your physical or emotional or psychological well-being is being undermined. That's what we call toxic relationship. Your physical relationship, your emotional relationship, everything psychological relation, your well-being is being undermined. Or sometimes it's even threatened. When it is threatened, that is what we call toxic relationship. In some ways, such relationships, they sometimes leave people feeling ashamed at the end of the day. You feel ashamed of, of yourself joining those kind of people in that relationship. Sometimes you feel misunderstood or unsupported. So a toxic relationship is one that makes you feel unsupported. The one that makes you feel misunderstood. The one that makes you feel demeaned or attacked. Sometimes you just discover that coming closer to some people is more of an attack than a loving relationship. So a relationship is toxic when it constantly makes you to feel less of yourself, thereby re reducing your self-esteem. That is what we call toxic relationship. Beloved, you need wisdom when you relate with your neighbors. You need wisdom when you relate with people at work. You need wisdom when you relate with your colleagues and even your friends. Because the law of sowing and reaping is powerful. There are at times you need to pay people back in their coin. The way they relate to you, you need to pay them back. In. If somebody is not ready to, to accord you some recognition, you are free to move to where you can be appreciated. You are free to move to where you can be accommodated, where you are going to be appreciated. You don't owe anybody any recognition who is not ready to recognize you. You owe nobody any recognition when they are not ready to recognize you. There is nothing wrong when you step aside and move away from where you are tolerated to where you are celebrated. Where you are tolerated 
to where you are celebrated. Because you come across different kind of people in life today. Come across good people. There are people who are even difficult. Difficult people that you come across. We are going to come back to this when we go on this short break. Beloved, stay tuned until we get back. God bless you. When the things that you do are backed up and secured by open heavens, prosperity and security are bound. It's the Implement of Labor, taking place at the August edition of Power Must Change Hands. Theme, Go Forward by Fire. Dr. D.K. Olukoya, the General Overseer, Mounted of Fire and Miracles Ministries, will be ministering live from the MFM International Headquarters, Lagos, Nigeria. 5th of August, 2023, 0700 WAT. This program will be streamed live on all social media platforms, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Mixlayer. Don't forget free to air MFM television on IS20. The August edition of PMCH. Go forward by fire. Come soak this implement of labor in the blood and fire and catapult yourself to the next level. Come to this meeting fast and believing God for something extra. In the name of Jesus. Jesus is Lord. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. Welcome back. We've been looking at doing away with toxic relationships. And we read a scripture in uh, 1 Samuel. Very, very interesting one. When we read about uh, about Eliab in 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 28 to 30. You see, in that scripture we read today, Eliab wanted to demean David, but David was too wise to swallow his demeaning words. He was so wise to swallow his demeaning words. And what did David say? He said, what have I now done to you? He tried to reject, he rejected that unnecessary, unnecessary anger against him. He said, is there not a cause? And at the same time, he turned from him towards another and spoke after the same manner. And the people answered him again after the former manner, meaning that David turned from his toxic brother. He turned to someone who was ready to boost his moral. He left somebody that was ready to accuse him to somebody who was ready to boost his moral. What I'm trying to tell you this morning, you do not give your best to anyone who is ready to offer you his, uh, you don't give your best to anybody who is not ready to offer you his or her own best. Don't give your best to that kind of person. Because if you give your best to that kind of person, you will take undue advantage of you. You are doing your best, but he's not trying to accept it and he's not ready to give his own best to you. So as if he's trying to ridicule you one way or the other. That's why it's often wise to treat people the way they have decided, the way they have come to you, the way they have come to you. The, the way they have decided to treat you, you treat them also like that. You treat them the way they have come to treat you. So don't impose yourself on those who are fed up with you. And that's the problem we have with many people. They impose themselves on those who are already fed up with them. People are tired of you, but you are imposing yourself on them. That is not wise enough. Because no one on earth has the capability to disgrace you without your permission. If you allow yourself to be disgraced by anybody, it's because you permitted it. Because what you tolerate is what people will give you. So if you choose to make your life a trash bin, a lot of people will drop a lot of rubbish inside that trash bin and they begin to molest you and try to treat you like a rag. Because the day you rise up, 
and bluntly say no, those who want to rubbish you, all of them will stay clear from you the moment you say no to any kind of rubbish. So you are, you are the only one who can allow and disallow insult and reproaches to come to you. You are the only one. If you like, you allow insults to come to you. If you allow, you allow your reproach to come to you. If you do not want it, if you don't want to permit it, you can at the same time reject it. When you keep your dignity, people will be left with no option than to respect your dignity and to respect who you are. You need to get rid of all toxic and uh, demoralizing and demeaning relationships because they are not going to help your destiny. There are people who are ready to reduce your integrity. They are ready to reduce from you. They are ready to reduce from your blessings. So you need to watch the kind of people you move with. There are people you move with, they add to your life. They may not have so much. They may not have all the big things of life, but the little things they have, they add to your life. You can boast that, yes, my working with somebody, my this person has added this value, this blessing to my destiny. At the same time, there are people you move with, they always subtract from you. They always subtract from you. They have nothing to add to you. Whatever you have, they want to take from it. If you have this, they take from it. If you have that, they take from it. You have been moving with some people for a long time. You can never remember one time, a particular day, when they have given you anything or they have added anything to you. Their own is taking from you all the time, taking from you every day, taking from you all the time. Those kind of people you need to be very careful because there is nothing you do to some people that they will so much appreciate. They want to take you for granted. Even if you give yourself to some people, they are not ready to accept that you are doing your best for them. I've seen somebody, they give him a small amount of money that this person has. Instead of thanking the person, he went and started reporting the person up and down. Now look at what he has given to me. And this person is a very rich man. He just gave me a small amount when I'm expecting so, so big amount from him. Those kind of people, you need to be very careful and you need to run away from them. There are people who are ready to demean you and reduce you anywhere you go. If you do not run away from them or you attack them the way they come to you, you will just discover that they turn you to a dustbin and begin to dump different kind of rubbish, different kind of problems into your life. There are people too you move with. They are ready to divide you. These ones are more terrible. Killing is even an understatement when it comes to the way they want to deal with you. They can do anything to destroy you. But unfortunately, these people, when you come close to them, you still see them smiling and laughing with you. Even in the public, they're behind you. They have already killed you. They are already destroying you. Remember Joseph, with his brethren, when they saw him, he was coming to them. Say, oh, behold, the dreamer comet. The dreamer comet. He was coming with joy, much enthusiasm, to come and meet his brothers. These are, these are my family. Let me come and meet them. I need to relate with them. There are so many things we need to do together. He did not know that these people are planning to kill him and sold him to the merchandise. It was until he got to them that he realized that the people he was trying to love, they are not ready to love him. They are the ones who are planning danger, destruction for his destiny. At the end of the day, they took him, dug him into the pit, kept him there, and they made one terrible mistake by selling him to the merchandise, believing that the glory will never come out again. But they made a mistake when they sold him to the merchandise, to the people who are going. And those people bought him, took him to where his destiny would be fulfilled. And at the end of the day, his destiny was fulfilled. All the people who put him in the pit, they are now coming to bow to his God. 
because God took him from the pit. He took him to the palace. He made him a blessing to his generation. Who are your friends? Who are the people you are moving with? Who are the people you are relating with? Are they the people who will add to you? Are they the people who will subtract from you? Are they the people who will divide you? There are people, there is nothing you do that you can make them happy. Very, very difficult. Very, very difficult. As much as you are trying your best to make them happy, they are trying their best to humiliate you and put your life to shame. And if possible, disgrace you. So a lot of people you move closer to, they are not really your friends. There are people you are supposed to run away from. But unfortunately, they are the people you are moving closer to. And the people you need to move closer to, they are the people many of us are running away from. There are people who can also multiply you. They take you from the minimum and take you to the maximum. They bless your life with wonderful blessing. And your life will never, never remain the same again. Anytime you come across them, Anytime you move closer to them. But this kind of people, most of the time when you want to appreciate them, they will tell you, no, don't worry. If I did not do it, nobody will do it. These are people who can add and multiply to your life. But there are people who are toxic, very wicked and dangerous. These are the people you should run away from. Because running away from these toxic people will keep your life longer. Don't allow your life to become a trash bin where people will dump a lot of rubbish and turn your life to a rag. We are going on a short break now. By the time we come back, we continue from this toxic relationship. God bless you. Determined to move your family from mockery to miracles. Break every jinx and spell working against your family. Destroy every evil pattern working against your family. Break every family curse working against your family. Receive stolen and lost glory of your family. Put your family in the envelope of the God of Elijah. These six powerful agendas will be dealt with on the 9th, 16th, and 23rd of August 2023. It's the August Special Man Water Service theme on Cage Your Family. Dr. D.K. Olukoya, the General Overseer, Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, will be ministering live from the MFM International Headquarters, Lagos, Nigeria, 0430 p.m. WAD. The August Special Man Water Trio. Come reposition your family with these divine steps. Align to put a family in place. This program will be available on all our social media platforms Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Mixlear. Don't forget MFM Television. Come fasting to this program with a list of family names, a bottle of oil, and of course, a bottle of water. Jesus is waiting for you. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. Welcome back. We continue from this wonderful teaching today. Do away with toxic relationship. Do away with toxic relationship. I told you that the toxic relationship is one that makes your feet unsupported people you're feeling unsupported people who are not ready to support whatever you are doing they are not ready to support what you are doing and when you deal with this kind of people when you relate with them emotionally you are demeaned undermined emotionally physically and psychologically the same thing happens. You are undermined. And by the time you relate with this kind of people, many of many at times they leave you ashamed. 
of yourself. The question is, why do you want to be ashamed relating people? Why do you want to get to that stage when you now become ashamed of yourself relating with some people? Why not cut that kind of relationship and look for a better place? There are places where you can be tolerated. There are places where you can be accepted and celebrated. A lot of us, we still dwell where we are going to be tolerated. And we are not going to where we can be celebrated. It's not all places you go that you are always tolerated. You should have the wisdom to know whether you are tolerated in this place or you are going to be celebrated. A toxic relationship will leave you becoming ashamed of yourself. And at the end of the day, whatever you do with them, you are not supported. Most of the time you are trying to do good to them, you are most of the time misunderstood. You are most of the time misunderstood. When you are trying to do well, you are trying to do good to them, they don't understand the way you are coming from, the angle you are coming from. Any good thing you do to a toxic person will take it another way. It will change it for you. It will turn it to another meaning. You will always think that you are not out to be a blessing to him. You always interpret your action negatively. And by the time you deal with them, in fact, sometimes you are even attacked after relating with this kind of people. What is the essence of you fighting in the public with somebody? When you know that by the time you continue to fight in the public, you have a name and a glory to protect. You are the one everybody will blame at the end. Why not look for how to get rid of that kind of person to where you can be celebrated? Like I've just read in this Eliab and David. You could see that David trying to avoid his brother who is not ready to celebrate him. He tried to avoid him. He asked him, is it a cause? Ah, with all what I'm doing with you, with all what I'm doing for you, you are not even appreciating. Is there not a cause? And at the end of the day, he turned away from him. You ask him, what have I now done for you? Until you ask some people this kind of question, they will not leave you alone. They will take your gentility to be stupidity. Because if you are too gentle, people will take you to look as if you are stupid. And this is what you must not tolerate. I pray the Lord will help you and you will get rid of all toxic and demeaning relationship today in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. I want you to tell God, say power to see myself the way God sees me. Come upon me now. Power to see myself the way God sees me. Come upon me, come upon me, come upon me, come upon me. Power to see myself the way God sees me. Come upon me. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Shout this one, say, my destiny helper. Locate me by fire. My destiny helper. Locate me by fire. Locate me by fire. Locate me by fire. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And finally say, oh Lord, be the glory and the lifter of my head. Lord, be the glory and the lifter of my head. In the name of Jesus. Lord, be the glory and the lifter of my head. Be the glory and the lifter of my head. Be the glory and the lifter of my head. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God bless you richly until we come your way again. Remain blessed and stay in the firm grips of the Lord. Jesus is Lord. Bye for now. God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for the miracle of sleeping and waking up. I decree that today it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. The Lord God that dwelleth in Zion will move you forward in a new way in the mighty name of Jesus. No evil shall befall you this day, neither shall any plague move near your camp. Wherever you go, the favor of the Almighty shall be upon you. 
your life shall be plugged into the socket of divine favor, divine restoration, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All the evil present in this day, I bind them and I cast them out. You shall not be part of the evil that is spreading around in the name of Jesus. The Lord will make you head and never the tail in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. You are going in your coming out shall be blessings. The hand of God shall be mighty upon you. I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Have a wonderful day, beloved. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen.